Good morning, students. Thank you for taking this time to listen and understand all about supersession testing for 2015. You might be asking yourself, what is this all about, supersession testing? Well, let's take a look a little closer. The supersession testing includes testing for all of the end of course exams and Florida State assessments. We will be doing the supersessions over six half days of school instead of full days of school testing. There will be no regular classes on supersession days, so this will allow you to concentrate just on those tests you have and then be able to go home at the end of your testing period. On the supersession test days, we will have academic review sessions for enrichment that are available to all students at all levels. So now you're probably wondering, when do I take these tests on these supersession days? During the first week, we'll be offering the supersession tests for Algebra 2 and English Language Arts for 10th grade. Most of the tests are given in two parts. Students must be in attendance for Part 1 and Part 2 in order to complete their testing requirements. The testing times will be given in two sessions. The first session will be 7.30 to 9.30, and the second session will be 9.35 to 11.30. So now you're probably wondering, what if I don't have Algebra 2 as a student? Then your options will be to either choose an academic review session or sign a permitted absence. The second question for this test date may be, well, what if I'm not a 10th grader? The same answer applies. You would either choose an academic review session for that time period or sign a permitted absence to not attend school during that time. During week two, Monday, April 27th and Tuesday, April 28th, we will be holding the English Language Arts Test for ninth graders, part one and part two. And on Tuesday, April 28th, we'll be holding the School Day ACT for select seniors that need to complete their graduation requirement for reading. So let's look at the first question. What if I'm not a ninth grader? Then you may attend an academic review session or you may sign a permitted absence form. What do I do after testing if I am a ninth grader? You'll choose an academic review session and participate in that session until 1130 and then leave at the end of the early release school day. During the third and final week of the super session testing, Monday, May 4th and Tuesday, May 5th, will be algebra and geometry. So let's review our same questions. What if I don't have algebra one? And we're referring to regular algebra one and honors algebra one, not algebra one A. Then the same answers apply. If I don't have algebra one, I would sign up for a review session, an academic enrichment session, or sign a permitted absence to not attend school at that time. What if I don't have geometry? Same answer applies. I would attend an academic enrichment session, or I would have my parents sign for a permitted absence. What if I don't have either one of those math classes? Then you may attend two academic review sessions or sign a permitted absence for both of those sessions, which would entitle you to be permitted absent for the entire school day. So what about the other end of course exams? The U.S. History end of course exam will be given on Wednesday, April 29th, and the Biology end of course exam will be given on Thursday, April 30th. These are non-supersession test days because these tests are given with all parts and do take longer than the time available during the supersession days. What about if I'm a student that is entitled to extended time for testing? You will be testing part one and part two on the following dates as listed on the chart during non-supersession half days. This will allow for the extended testing time that is required to provide you the maximum opportunities for success. Well, what about food on these supersession days? Free breakfast is available every morning to all students in the cafeteria, and that is good through the end of the school year in June. Lunch will be a grab-and-go as usual from 11.30 to 11.40. 
And what about those buses? Buses will operate as an early release day and will arrive at school in the morning and depart at 11.45 after the grab-and-go lunch. Students may also provide their own transportation as needing, needed for testing and the academic review sessions. So, now what? The letter you received from your teacher is for you and your parents. It is your testing and permitted absence form. It must be signed for each of the six supersession days by your parents and returned to your third period teacher so that your permitted absences and your academic review sessions are locked in. So let's go ahead and start to complete the form. Let's look at supersession day one on April 20th. Are you in an Algebra 2 class? If yes, you are testing. If no, choose a review session or your parent would sign for a permitted absence during that time period. Are you a 10th grader? If yes, you are testing. If no, choose a review session or your parent signs for a permitted absence for that time period. Super Session Day 2, April 21st. Are you in an Algebra 2 class? If yes, you're testing. If no, review session or permitted absence. Are you a 10th grader? If yes, you are testing. If no, choose a review session or sign for permitted absence. Let's go on to Super Session Day 3, April 27th. Are you a 9th grader? If yes, you are testing. If you are testing as a ninth grader, you should choose an academic review session following your test from 9.35 to 11.30. If no, you should choose a review session or sign for a permitted absence. Day 4, April 28th. Are you a ninth grader? Yes, you're testing. Yes, choose a review session. No, choose a review session or parent signs for permitted absence. Are you a selected 12th grader that's taking the ACT during the school day? If yes, your test begins promptly at 7.30 a.m. and will conclude at approximately 12 noon. Again, please make arrangements for your transportation. If no, choose a review session or your parent signs for a permitted absence. Super Session Day 5, May 4th. Are you in Algebra 1 or Algebra 1B class? If yes, you are testing. If no, choose a review session or sign for permitted absence. Are you in a geometry class, but not in formal geometry? That doesn't count for an EOC. If yes, you're in a geometry class, you're testing. If no, choose a review session or have your parents sign for permitted absence. And the last super session test day number six on May 5th. Are you in algebra class? Yes, you're testing. No, choose a review or sign a permitted absence. Are you in geometry class? If yes, you're testing. If no, choose a review session or your parent signs a permitted absence. Whew, are we done yet? At this point, your testing and permitted absence form should be completed, or you may take some extra time to complete this at home with your parents. Your parents must sign for each of the six super session test days. And each of your re completed forms must be returned to your third period teacher next Tuesday on April 14th to lock in your permitted absences and lock in your requests for your academic review sessions. We've got a lot of Buck Pride going on, so let's rock this testing. <laughs>